well 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 hello everyone this is jerry i'm going live and um i got a maybe a minute before it's 10 o'clock but i decided to come on and just see how many are gonna jump on today uh you can always um come back and and take a look at it later because it will be posted but um I just wanted to kind of like share some things with you and uh, uh, what the Lord has laid on my heart today. And today I want to talk about gratefulness. And um, because gratefulness is the beginning of wealth. I don't, I don't know if you know that. I know a lot of times we, we think of wealth and we think of um, a lot of money. and um, But we can be wealthy within before the money even comes. And that's what I want to talk about today. Um, because God wants us to begin to look within and begin to be grateful for what He has done in our lives. So, I see a couple people have jumped on. Hello, everyone. Hello, Donetta and uh, Sabrina. Um, thank you guys for jumping on. And... Um, so let's get started. I, I first want to talk about gratefulness. And when I think of gratefulness and what God has done for me, I can only just say that this, all that I am, God made me. All that I have, God gave me. And all that I know, God taught me. And I have realized that Anything of me, it had to come from God. So when I look at what God has done in my life and I say, okay, I am just so grateful to God. And that's what we got to start first. I know we, we want to look at some of the things in our lives that we say, okay, I, I don't understand why this is happening. But what I want you to start doing today is to be grateful for the things that you do have. You know, and if you're watching this video, <laughs> be grateful for your sight. Be grateful that you can hear. You know, everything might not be going just this this perfect life, right? But if you begin to start saying, Lord, I am just so grateful that even where I am today, and God will begin to move in your life, and you'll begin to see some things that, and some changes because it's one thing about being grateful is that you start feeling better. You start feeling better. You start doing better. And this is what God wants you to do. He wants you to start feeling better. And and before we can even start this video, I know I'm started already, but what I want you to do is just take a deep breath. Cause, come on, let's do it. Take a deep breath and begin to think of all the good things in your life. Because when you begin to think of all the good things in your life, guess what happens? Or more good things start coming. And a lot of times we don't even take a deep breath. We're so busy. We got kids. We got, you know, school. We got work. We, we got so many things going on till we really don't take a deep breath. You know, and, and God wants us to relax. He wants us to uh, think of Him when it comes to things that we feel like we cannot handle. Right? That's what He wants us to do. Hello, Bobette. How you doing? Hi, Michael. Hey. Hey, Jerry. I'm just glad you guys are watching. Okay? But this is what I want to talk about. I want to talk about being grateful. Now, what do you, uh, what do wealth look to you? What, what it looks like? And sometimes you might say, well, Jerry, wealthy, wealth look like if I got some money, you know, in the bank, that's what wealth look like to me, right? Some people say, well, wealth look like if, 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 I, if my family loved me, you know, wealth look like if, if I got the big car and the, and the big house, you know, and, um, you know, and a whole bunch of money in the bank. But a lot of times, you know, wealth, you know, it really depends on who, how you define your wealth. You know, because I'm going to tell you something about wealth. There's people that got plenty of money, 
<laughs> but they're not grateful. And when you're not grateful, guess what? You're not happy. So what you want to do, you want to begin to say, okay, Jerry, show me how to first be grateful so I can begin to do the things that God want me to do. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to begin to think about the things that you're grateful for. You know, when we look at the, uh, the, the, the riches of this world, because I'm going to tell you, money don't make you happy. As you as you see on television every single day, rich people is killing themselves. They got plenty of money, but they're not happy. They're not grateful for what God has done for them. Something in their life was had tore them apart, where they felt like they just had to take their lives. Okay, so what we want to do is focus on being grateful to God. You know, when I look back over my life and. God knows, you know, I've had my own challenges, you know, and, and you know what? I, I'm still having my challenges. You know what I'm saying? I'm still having my challenges. I, I mean, I'm not exempt. And that's why I want to talk about this. And I always try to be transparent. You know, a lot of people is not transparent when it comes to their things. They want you to, to look on Facebook and say, look how beautiful my life is. Okay. Yes, I have a good life. But at the same time, I have challenges as well. We're not exempt. So when you begin to say, okay, look within yourself. You know, being happy, you have to be within yourself. You have to look in and say, God, I need joy. You know, I was just sharing with someone not too long ago about joy. Because when you have joy on the inside, I don't care what comes or what goes. When you have joy on the inside, guess what happens? God begins to move in a mighty way. You begin to say, you know what? <laughs> it's going to roll off my back. Yeah, I might share some tears, but it's going to roll off my back. And that's what we have to say. We have to look within and say, God, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that I'm here today. I'm grateful that... You have given me this beautiful life. I don't care what you say. You got a beautiful life. But you have to realize that. But we're going to look at some things. We're going to look at, okay, let's look at wealth. Let's just really look at the word wealth. Well, let me ask you this. What do you think wealth means? Let me see what we got here. Oh, I'm grateful for my husband and our kids, and I don't have to go through alone. I know you're right, Donetta, right? You don't have to go through alone. But let's look at the, the word wealth. Let's look at how grateful we are. Because when I think about wealth, because when, you, when you're trying to succeed in life, when you're trying to prosper in life, and the first thing you have to really begin to look at is your mind, your psychology, or how you think. And really, success is 80% of your thinking. <laughs> I know a lot of people say, oh, what I got to do? Where I got to go? Where I got to go? No, success is 80% of your thinking, your philosophy. What are you thinking in this head of yours? What are you doing? Okay, what, what what's causing you to think? Because, see, a lot of times we have our mind mind thinking the wrong things. Yes, we want this, but we think in that. And guess what? What you thinking is what's going to come to pass. <laughs> so you have to begin to retrain your mind, okay, to begin to think positive things. You know, all my life, I always had this dream mentality. A lot of people really call me kind of crazy because I always had this mentality to think big. I always thought big. I always felt like God was going to bless me tremendously. That always have been in my heart. I've always saw that with my eyes and I always think it, you know, and when I moved here to California, trust me, I wouldn't have never moved here if God wouldn't have told me to move, but I moved and it was a scary moment because I really didn't know anybody in California. But God told me to move, and I'm crazy enough to believe him, because guess what? Remember, I think big, all right? So I just said, okay, God, I'll, I'll move, you know? And it was the biggest move ever, but I am just so grateful to God that he moved me. I'm so grateful to God that he put the obedience in me to move. Because if I wouldn't have moved, I wouldn't be where I am today. 
I tell people all the time, I say, you know what, if I wouldn't have moved to California, I probably would be homeless. I'm going to tell you, somebody prophesied to my mom when I moved here, oh, I see Jerry going coming back home. She's going to be homeless with all her kids, and I got four, okay? She's coming back home homeless. But trust me, if I wouldn't have moved to California, I probably would have been homeless. Because why? Obedience is better than sacrifice, and it's the best move ever. And I am just so grateful to God, so grateful to God that he put that in my spirit. Because when I got here, of course, I met this wonderful man, my husband, and, and life has been great. But sometimes you have to begin to look at yourself and say, okay, where, wh where is my uh, gratefulness to God? Where is, what am I grateful for? You know what? Most, pe most people spend a lifetime working every single day. And still don't reach the sense of wealthiness, the sense of happiness. Do you know that? They work every single day and don't even reach the sense of being wealthy. I don't know about you, but I'm wealthy. I am just so happy. And I want you to be happy too. And, I'm, and I want you to know that happiness and wealthiness is not how much money you got in the bank. Happiness and wealthiness is what you are grateful for. Just like I saw Donetta said, say, I am grateful for my husband and my children. I am so grateful for my husband, my children, my business, my friends. My family, I, I'm just so grateful. And, and trust me, I have issues too with my family. Matter of fact, I, you know, I told you I'm transparent. I, I'm going through something right now with one of my children. But it, it doesn't change who I am. Sometimes, yes, it hurts. But guess what? I'm still grateful. I am grateful that, you know what? That even the pain that I felt, you know, from this issue, I'm grateful for that. You know why? Because God's been too good to sit around and be sorrowful. God is too good to sit around and have a pity party. Do you know there's millions of people have plenty of money, and yet do they do not live in that place of wealthiness, in that wealthy place. Because why? Money do not make you wealthy. Money don't make you wealthy. God makes you wealthy. What are you grateful for today? Because wealthiness, you know, it is a place of rest. It means that you have a sense of abundance. You have no worries, no concerns. You feel rich. <laughs> you feel alive. <laughs> That's what wealthiness is. That's what being grateful is all about. And you know, like again... I might have my own challenges, but I feel a sense of abundance all the time. I have no worries. You know, my mom used to say all the time, she don't say it no more. She's going to be with the Lord now. But I remember back when I was living in, it, in Atlanta, she used to always say, you know what? You just act like you don't care. <laughs> You act like you just don't care. You have, you have no concerns. And you know what? I don't. I just trust God. I have no worries. I trust God. I feel rich. I just trust God. And I feel alive. That's what it's all about. It's all about having a sense of security that God is going to take care of every issue. And check this out. No amount of money will make you feel this way. No amount of money. So how are you feeling today? This is my Monday I'm on. 
It's called Empower to Impact, a Motivation Monday. I'm doing it every Monday, you guys. So check me out every Monday at 10 o'clock. But what I want you to do, I want you to begin to think within your mind. Jerry, you know what? I woke up on a Monday morning. <laughs> Didn't really want to go to work. But I'm here. Right? I'm here. So, what I'm going to do about it? You're going to thank God for all the things that he has done. That's what it's all about. And when you start thanking God for all the things that he has done, you'll begin to feel a freedom that you never felt before. Freedom is being yourself without permission. And you know, from a little country girl that people judge and but I've made a decision within myself I'm free to be myself without permission are you are you looking into the mirror today and say you know what Jerry I am going to be free because when you're free, guess what? you empowered. you empowered to go after your dreams when you're free. When you're free, you have a sense of a greater freedom that you never felt before. A greater sense of wealth. A greater sense of abundance. A greater sense of peace a greater sense of love and joy. Are you discovering your richness today? That's what I want you to do. I want you to discover the joy that's within. And then watch God do something for you. Huh? Watch Him. I know for a fact that He will. Because he's done it for me. And I know if he's done it for me, he has done it for you. What does success look like to you? Huh? Because success, it looks different to every person. It might look different than what it, I, it looks to me. What does success look to you? Because when you really think about it, God is in the midst of us. And he's directing us if we allow him to. You know, every day I wake up, I ask God, I say, you know what? What will we do today? <laughs> what is on the agenda? <laughs> And a lot of people go, Jerry, you, you, you don't have a worry. I really don't have a worry. I have a sense of abundance like never before. Do you? Do you wake up in the morning with a smile on your face and say, Lord, I thank you for another day. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in my life. Yes, there may be some things that I do not like that's going on in my life right now. There may, there may be some heartaches that I have to experience. But I even learned in those heartaches is that you have to say, this is just going to make me stronger. It's going to make me stronger. It's going to make me a better person. And like my husband say all the time, guess what? I always want to be a better man. I always want to be a better husband. I want to be a better father, a better son, a better friend. Everything that you go through is to make you better. Point blank. Now, you can take it the negative way. And so, you know what? I ain't forget it. I ain't, I ain't talking to nobody. You know, I see so many posts about folk on Facebook about what they ain't going to take, what they ain't going to do, this, that, and the other. And these are preachers, man. 
These are preachers. You don't know who you messing with. I'm like, come on. What would anybody attack you any kind of way? It's only to make you better. You know, you know what I always say? <laughs> Get this gum out of my mouth. I always say this. I don't have to fight my battle. I don't have to fight at all. I always say, God will vindicate me. I don't have to defend myself. When people say stuff about me, so be it. I don't care. I don't have to defend myself. Why? Because I'm grateful to God. I must be somebody because somebody talking about me. Hey. <laughs> and that's the way you have to look at it. You have to look at you can't you have to look at it like, oh hey, I, hey, I'm I'm I, I, I'm the topic today. Right? So you can't get mad at folk. Because they they might want to come back and forth. I don't I don't come I don't go back and forth with anyone. Because why? I keep peace in my heart. I keep peace and I keep joy. Because God has been too good. And you know what? He's been too good to you too. I want you to reach inside yourself. And pull out that word called gratefulness today. Pull out that word to say, you know what, Jerry, from now on, every morning I wake up, I'm going to say, I'm grateful. I am so grateful to the point where I'm going to start feeling this abundance. I'm going to start feeling this gratitude that I have. And allow God to move into my life. Allow him to move things out that needs to be moved out. And move things in that needs to be moved in. Because when you start doing that, things just turn around. I'm a living witness. You know, my husband and I, we have several businesses. And I don't say that to boast. I say that because God, he will lead and guide you and direct you to the things that you need to be and where you need to be and where you need to be it. But we have to first start somewhere. We have to first start with being grateful to God that he's going to take care of it. And when you start being grateful... You stop feeling wealthy. <laughs> Hi, Beverly. It's good to see you, girl. You stop feeling wealthy. It's just an automatic. It's an automatic because now when you start feeling grateful and you start going in that vein, guess what happens? Uh, it, it's like an attraction. <laughs> And you don't be looking for it. But it's something about being grateful. You know, I, I don't care where I go. I go to the grocery store. I go to the movie. Somebody always trying to talk to me. I don't even know these people. <laughs> right? They just, hey, how you doing? Oh, well, hi, how you doing? You know? I'm like, and I'm looking like, do I know you? <laughs> you know? I'm like, do I know you? Because people just attract. They're attracted to you. Why? Because they see that spirit of gratefulness. They see the wealth all over you. They see the not worried, not concerned. And I'm going to tell you something about being grateful because that's when wealthy steps in. The wealthy people attract wealthy people. <laughs> Get a revelation. If you're around here not being grateful, guess what? You're not going to attract anybody. I don't care what kind of business you have. Because it starts with being grateful. It starts with, okay, God, I need a change in my life. So what am I going to do about it? Right? What am I going to do about this change? This change is allowing God to do the change in your life. Allowing Him to come in. And fix this old heart that's been hurt. You know, I, I'm even grateful for the disappointments. Because even in that, it made me who I am today. 
Because I haven't always been this way. <laughs> Trust me. But I've learned through my tests and trials to allow God to fix me. And to say, okay, God, for whatever reason that I had to go through this, you is going to make it right. And every single time that I've saw myself go through something that I really didn't want to feel the pain, he made it right. And that's what I want to share with you. God will make it right. I, I, I want to read something here. That is, It's a quote. It's by... Um, Melody B. They say, gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. Right? Being gratitude. So, what are you today? Are you grateful? Why don't you just put in the comments, Jerry, yes, I am grateful. And if you're not grateful, I want to pray for you. I want to pray that God deal with your heart. That you will begin to look at the things around you. I really don't even care if you're homeless right now. Because even being homeless and watching this video, you have an opportunity to be grateful. So I want to pray for you. That God will begin to deal with your heart. And you will begin to look within yourself and say, you know what? I have something to be grateful for. I promise you, you'll feel better. I promise you, you'll get better. I promise you that whatever is wrong in your life, when you have the spirit of gratefulness and gratitude, Things begin to change. I know that for a fact. Like I say, everything might not be perfect. <laughs> but it is perfect. Because the words say, all things is working together for my good. Everything is working together for my good. No matter what it is. Evidently, if God allowed me to go through it, it's working for my good. Again, back to what I said before. All that I am, he made me. All that I have, he gave me. And all that I know, he taught me. Allow God to talk, teach you today like he taught me. You know, I, I have a faith. I, I did a, a, a video on faith uh, last week. And um, you get a chance, take a look at it. I, 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 and eventually, I, I'm going to tell my testimony, my whole testimony of how God moved me here. And the miracle behind a miracle behind a miracle. Each step I made, it was a miracle. And uh, I can't take any credit. <laughs> Because uh, every step he or he ordained and he opened the door, it, it's, it was a no-brainer. It was nobody but God. It, it was totally a miracle how I'm here today. So I want to share that testimony with you, and I will be sharing it. And this, my time is up, right? <laughs> I said I'm going to be up here 30 minutes. and uh, But you get to talking, and you're like, dog. 30 minutes gone, right? So you have to begin to say, okay, God, I'm grateful. So today I will say a prayer as I close. Father, 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to touch everyone that's looking at this video. We're asking you to touch their heart, touch their mind, that they will begin to look within themselves and be grateful. Because gratefulness is the beginning of wealth. God, we ask this in Jesus' name. And we thank you now. Amen. Be blessed. I'll see you next week. I love you. And you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. Bye.